what is the remainder when the function x to the third plus 3x squared minus 10x minus 14 is divided by the quantity x minus 3? And they'll give you a box and ask you to write your answer in the space provided. Now, there's a couple ways we can go about doing this. We'll talk about synthetic division. We'll talk about long division. Um, but I will say that the question is asking you specifically for a remainder. It's a remainder theorem question. The nice thing about that is you don't have to go back and remember that's oh yeah, it's like the 10 and then I have to have the whole x minus 3 thing underneath it and all that. It just wants to know what the remainder is. So that's good. So first things first, what method are you going to use? I mean, it's fine to use whatever, but we'll do it in long division first and then get into the um, the rest of it. So I have to think, okay, what's going to get rid of x to the third? Well, I need to do x squared here. So x squared times x gives me x to the third. And x squared times negative 3x gives me, or negative 3x squared gives me minus 3x squared. And it looks like that sort of jump up and down moment where you're like, oh, cool, those cancel out. But remember, when you do a division in a long division, you need to switch the sign. So really, I'm subtracting. So I will always just go ahead and do this just to make my life a little easier later. So these do cancel, finally. Good, good enough for me. And then I um, end up with 6x squared. Bring down the next one. So I want to get rid of 6x squared, so I need to have 6 and x. So plus... 6x and then I get uh, 6x squared here and then I do negative 3 times 6 which is of course negative 18 but again subtracting it so I need to change the signs end up with 8x minus 14 so now what do I need to do to get x to, get, uh, to eliminate 8x I need to do times 8 so plus 8 here 8 times x gives me 8x minus 24 and again don't fall for it it's some subtraction so you need to do that and I end up with 10 and that's my final answer so that's long division it takes a little while so it depends on how long you have to do for time synthetic division runs a lot faster but there is one key element that you have to remember synthetic division requires you to use a solution so when you have x minus 3 you don't want to go over here and do, you know, minus 3 as a component of your synthetic division because that will end up messing up the overall answer. What you want to do instead is remember that in order to get a solution from a factor, we need to set it equal to 0, the whole zero product property thing you may have heard about. So I'm going to use 3 as my divisor. And now I'm ready for, and I'm going to change color because chameleon I guess and then I just take the uh, coefficients on all the variables uh, this would be a 1 first off don't forget if it's x to the third it's not 0 because there wouldn't be an x to the third if it was 0 so 1 uh, x squared is 3 negative 10 and negative 14 so what do I do okay I want to do bring down the first one and I get 3 times 1. And then when I do uh, 3 and 3, I get 6. 3 times 6. Bring those down. I get 8. 3 times 8. 24 minus 14 is 10. There it is. So both of those are okay. The only thing you have to remember, and I'm assuming most people do synthetic division, to be honest, but uh, the only thing you need to remember is that synthetic division requires you to use a solution. So if you are given a factor, don't just dive in and say minus 3 because you end up missing a question that really, if you're at this level, isn't that hard because it's just adding and subtracting. Um, but make sure you don't fall for their tricks and you convert any factors to solutions if you're going to use, or zeros or whatever you want to call them, uh, if you're going to use synthetic division. So there you go.